Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. Okay? Okay. So let's see what's going on with Virgo. We have the King of Swords and the Three of Wands. The King of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So... I feel like somebody's coming into a serious, serious realization. It's going to take time, you know. Three of Wands to the King of Swords. King of Wands to the Ace of Swords. So, I do feel like, Virgo, it's going to take you some time to adjust to this truth, whatever that is. Strength, Leo. Ten of Cups to the Devil. So, What I'm feeling here is somebody's having strength to overcome an attachment to a family. Or maybe even just a family member. That's in the past. Immediate future is the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. There's a message that needs to be sent here. Possibly from or to an empress. There's a transformation taking place. We have Scorpio and Libra and Leo here already. There is a transformation taking place in your immediate future, Virgo. What is the factor affecting the situation, Spirit? Nine of Swords. Worry. Losing sleep. Trying to realize that there's something here worth fighting for. Ace of Cups, Six of Wands. And I'm feeling like something's definitely over. There was a betrayal here of some kind. And I think it shocked you and left you in a state of worry and not being able to sleep. Let's see what's going on in the outside influence. What's going on in the outside influence here? Waiting on the sun to come up, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's early. The Wheel of Fortune. A very fortunate event that maybe you don't see coming. Could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer. We're about to go into zero degrees Cancer. The moon. Something you don't see about a union, about possibly living together with someone. What is the hope or the fear here, Spirit? What's the hope or the fear here? Brand new beginning, but not wanting to walk off a cliff. Your fear here is an apology from a liar. Somebody who's lying, cheating, stealing. And, and, and I'm afraid that maybe you think that that's going to happen again. Four of Swords. Five of Wands to the Four of Cups. So, five, four, four definitely a significant change taking place in your home life and there's something that you need to let go of and I think it's the competition the competition the um, I feel like people are running their mouth here Virgo and 
you need to see through it because these people are jealous and they want what you have whatever that is let's get some more information queen of swords on the bottom okay what is this strength lovers this could be a legal matter a divorce or marriage somebody's going to have to have strength because there's three people here somebody's got to have strength because I do f feel like there is a third party interference here what is the king of swords and the three of wands spirit what is the king of swords and the three of wands your challenge here is definitely some kind of contract Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Damn. So this definitely has something to do with family and money. We have the Magician and the Judgment. So I do feel like, Virgo, it is up to you to change this. Sagittarius energy, Virgo energy. Um, it is up to you to change whatever the situation is. You're finding out the truth. I feel like somebody's been taking stuff from you. Um, maybe family members. And you're finding out the truth about that. Six of Swords. Your challenge here is to move on. Could be a Gemini in your energy. This is the second time the lovers have popped out. So this is your challenge. To move away. To leave that behind. Yeah, the Knight of Cups to the Gemini lovers here. Like I said, there are three people here. And possibly a marriage and a lot of money. There's something you need to leave behind, Virgo. Something that, that no longer serves you. What is this message that needs to be sent or a message that you're about to receive? Seven of Cups, Temperance, Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands. Balancing out the masculine and feminine in your immediate future. Sagittarius energy. Something was an illusion. Seven of Cups tells me that there was many choices, many options. And then you balance things out with a counterpart. That is in your immediate future. Ace of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. So, whatever option or choice that this was, or that this, that this is, that you're about to make, is going to balance things, especially in your financial department. I do see some kind of a, um, a plus in your world coming. Could even mean a plus one. Alrighty then. Nine of Swords. What is that all about? Wow. Nine of Swords on the Nine of Swords. Damn. I'm getting this as a sudden realization, Virgo. It's a sudden realization of something that you love. Somebody needs to go tell somebody how they feel. We have Sagittarius here twice with the Wheel of Fortune and the Temperance card. 
So you could definitely be dealing with the Sag. What is the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit? What is the Wheel of Fortune? Lovers and the Devil. Yep. Yeah. Capricorn and Gemini energy. Like I said, somebody's coming into a realization here. The exposure of the truth has rocked somebody's world and they now see a relationship that they're in as toxic. It is... <laughs> It, it presented itself to be everything that you ever wanted, Virgo. Got Taurus, got Capricorn, got Gemini, got Sagittarius a couple of times. This presented itself as everything that you ever wanted. But turned out to be this. Too many people involved and quite codependent. And Virgo, I know you're not all about that. You're all about people being independent. So, your hope and fear is that there is a brand new beginning. But you're not sure where it's going. What is this fool card, Spirit? What is this fool card? I think you feel foolish for putting your trust in somebody. And you're about to find out that this person kind of fed you a story because of their... I, I do feel like there's a little bit of overly obsessive thinking here. Could definitely be dealing with a baby mama, baby daddy. Yeah, the truth about love. I'm hearing love is cold. It's not, though. Leo energy again. Love is not supposed to be cold, Virgo. Not supposed to be. It's supposed to be warm and fuzzy and cuddly. What is this Four of Swords about, Spirit? What is this Four of Swords about? The Queen of Pentacles. Again. Pisces again and the Emperor. So I feel like somebody here is definitely pushy, bossy, wants things their own way. And that's what's keeping them stuck. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. I do feel like something's coming to relieve your burden here, Virgo. We have the Magician again. I feel like maybe that you are manifesting something completely different from a space of rest. From a space of Okay, this happened, so now we're going to move on to the next thing, which is this king and queen of wands. You could be considering going into business with someone. I do feel like somebody is either about to change your life or you're about to change theirs. Nine of swords. And somebody's scared. Somebody's seriously scared here. Not sure if they want it or not. Alright. Not sure if they want it. Let's see what the Kipper's got to say. Main female. Privileged lady and expectations. Mature man. Lovers and the privileged lady. So there's definitely two people um, here. 
privileged lady and a main female with this mature man. Yeah, this is definitely definitely could be a marriage. Seven years. I don't know what that means. Seven to nine years. You guys could have been married that long, but somebody's using their health as an excuse to hang on to a house. Don't know what that means. But, and, and, it, and it might not be an excuse. It might be an actual problem. But I do feel like that's how somebody's holding on to another one here. Claiming that for health reasons could be mental health. That they need to hang on to this toxic situation. Because of a home. They hold you in high regard, Virgo. But is that going to be enough? Because I do see you finding out the truth about something here. And I do see a new biz business venture in the immediate future. So you might be working on a new project with a new person. Could be Aries Leo Sag, but it could also be... Um, A business partner of some kind because I don't I don't feel like this is I mean with the with the Queen of Pentacles the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands I feel like this is something that's going to allow you to drop your burdens and move forward whatever this new thing is but I think somebody is definitely scared of it definitely scared of it not sure if this is going to be a codependent situation again or not because I feel like somebody lost a house here property due to their actions and now somebody can't get enough sleep because there were they're so fixed on their own actions you know maybe they married somebody that you know I feel settling energy here it's like somebody settled for second best because they couldn't find anything better and like I said seven to nine years I don't know why I'm getting that Addiction, coffee cup, engagement ring, and passion. So, yeah, there's definitely some kind of codependency here. Not sure what that is, but it is some kind of addiction with the, with the uh, devil as the outside influence. And let's see. This says, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block of restraint. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. So, I do feel like you've walked away from this person in a way, Virgo. You've decided to let stuff be like it is. Yeah, here's a mask, not showing true feelings. Hide, personify, pretend, gas gaslighting, and deluding. So there's, there's def definitely some kind of uh, illusion that you're about to be opened up to in the immediate future. Possibly about finances and your own business. But it's not you that's having the illusion. I feel like somebody's obsessed with you, Virgo. Somebody has a severe obsession with you. 
and and it's toxic it's it's not cool it's not cool camera reminiscing keepsake perception learn from the past and making memories so you are learning from your past mistakes but there's a runner here in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy and listening to the ego so somebody is definitely putting more importance on the ego than unconditional love giving and receiving affection and falling in love now like I said Virgo I do see new person coming in with that ace of cups the truth about a new person uh, and I see a marriage falling apart here so take that as it resonates you could be dealing with somebody else who's married abundance of Sothis and the mother of life so abundance in so many forms is increasing to flow to you continue your, your yeah that continue your good work of building channels through which abundance can be delivered to you freely share your talents love wisdom and self and enjoy the un abundance responsibly flowing to you in many forms over and over again the mother of life when life seems dry depleted filled with repetitive tasks and simply stagnant and stifled Isis the mother of life holds the ability to revive even the most numb resistant and difficult circumstances in your life she calls you now to you now seeking to bestow gifts of life upon you be bold and brave and open your arms to receive so whatever has been Virgo this is what needs to be let go of the nine of swords here twice this is worry this is staying up all night this is not being able to focus and it, it, it's due to, you know, someone who who isn't well, either spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or physically. Someone is not well. Oh. Okay. So Virgo, you could have moved this person into your house because they're not well somebody you hold in high regard and that's what's stressing you out that's what's worrying you is maybe that this person's a mature man or main female and they're sick so that could be what's stressing you out right now there's definitely some kind of obsession with a lover here that needs to be addressed. Like I said, the third person could be a family member that is not well. All right. Well, those are your messages. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.